I could never. Can you clear it though? Forward. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> well, see if I can do it. <laughs> today we're back at the indoor track and field facility at LSU and today we're doing high jump practice. Today's main goal is just to iron out a few things, probably technical rock wise with my runways, like my approach runs, and I think that'll help me overall get better in terms of being more consistent in my high jump. This best guy right here, here, best coach, man. Yeah, you, you can't get a funnier yeah. coach than this guy right now, or a coach this that knows more about what this he's talking about. This guy's full of it, full of it right here. <laughs> he's in the top seven athletes I've ever worked with before. <laughs> I'll take it. We are gonna uh, we're gonna run high jump approaches today. He's a little sore because he competed Sunday first meet, so typically a little sore after the first meet. So we're gonna run high jump approaches, and we've been trying to get a little bit of some subtle changes made this year, and we'll keep hammering away on that. Greatest training group in jumps history, right here. <laughs> Everybody smile at the camera, give a thumbs up. <laughs> when it comes to approach work for high jump, I'm basically doing full jumps or full approaches like my runs toward the bar. I like to focus more on the technical side because I feel like my jumping ability is there. I just need to get more strict with the technical stuff. A little, little long on the first seven or so. like when you're kind of getting to what I'm calling five, there's still a little bit of this long, you know, and you got to feel feet underneath you. So just four and five on our count. Getting the long, I got to revert back to the high jump cadence. Just one bad, bad side and two events. Get the cadence is mixed up sometimes. In terms of my cadences for high jump and long jump, the difference really is just speed. When it comes to long jump, it's a lot more fast paced. I'm having to spread a little bit more and maintain, whereas in high jump, I'm pushing out for probably two steps and then maintain and making sure I'm upright so that way my takeoff spot is right. You can see you fighting when, when you came and you hit. You can't let eight hit too hard. It's just gotta be subtle so that nine just carries you around. I still think we got to find a little turnover in the run. There's a little bit of this feed out kind of deal. And so when you get down here, it's, it's kind of run, run, run. And then here it's run, 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 run. I'm trying to even it out with the tempo of the run a little bit. So there's not this huge disconnect. You know how hard it is for me not to curse because I had this microphone on. I mean, it's, it's just killing me right now. You hit seven and then eight real hard, and that's why in here, you almost felt like you had to hop the last two steps. I think this is kind of your getting back into it, but the next week I'd like to do one time with you, and then we'll get the long jump going for USA. No, I thought that was better. I thought you were a little more patient again. Seven, eight, nine, it's, it's three steps. You try to do it all in one sometimes, so that was good. We've been away from the high jump for just a minute because we've been trying to get the long jump going again, but as always, he, he shines brightly when it counts the most, which is at the very end. It's some good BS right there. Yeah. But I love him still.
What's up? Today I'll be showing you guys a couple of my favorite pieces and accessories. First piece we're gonna start off with this Puma X Staples. I don't know if you call this a bomber or a varsity. I'm, I'm gonna call it a bomber. This is one of my latest pickups and favorites. I just think it's hard. I like the color and I like the way they added like the hints of yellow in there and then it has some kanji right here. So I wear this. I, I just actually styled this for the first time when I was in Boston. So you can just go check that fit out for yourself. Next we got, we got a Decentrals hoodie. It's thick, keeps me warm. You know, airports, pl planes get cold, so that's the go-to. I was a big fan of V-Long back in the day, so I always said I was gonna get me a V-Long jacket. It was a lot of my range when I was in college. Went pro and was able to get me one, so we got this. I'll normally put this on if I'm going like, I with some friends, you know, like you need this cold, you need a jacket. I'll, start, I'll probably put on some black jeans. If I have some green shoes that match this, I'll put that on. You know, I might throw, throw on the go-yard with it. It depends on the day. What makes an outfit unique is the person who's wearing it and how they style it. My style is a rock star aesthetic and it's a little different. Uh, let's go to some pants, right? We got a pair of pants. We got some Huda size war pants. Fashion itself is taking a trend into the baggier side of things. So started copping some baggy pants. These are nice and open at the bottom. Gives you a lot of breathing room. You know, nice simple black pants, not too much. Don't got a design any, or anything crazy on them. Something very simple. Now we got one of my new favorite brands that I've been getting into as of the last year, Hellstar. They do a lot of graphic tees. I like the different designs that they do with their t-shirts. Haven't styled this yet. I, don't, I really don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. My journey with fashion is an interesting one. I just feel like it's a way to express yourself. My senior year of college, I would say that's when I really started getting into fashion. I'm wearing a pair of my favorite shoes right now. These are a pair of Pumas. I have beaten these into the ground. I need to get a new pair. These are very comfortable. I love them. White and black, goes with everything. Can't go wrong. These are a pair of Dior B22s. These are by far some of the most comfortable designer shoes I've worn. I could walk around in these all day and my feet won't hurt. Lastly, but not least, we got these Pumas. These are a pair of Slipstreams. Puma did this collab and as soon as I seen it, I said I needed a pair. These are a little different to style, you know, it's, they're bright, so you kind of want to make them the star of the outfit. That's it for the shoes. Now we got some, some jewelry. I have three rings that I wear consistently. We got the Chrome Hearts ring right here. I wear this on my pinky. My second ring would be this Chrome Hearts ring right here. It's called the Forever Ring. It says Forever on it. It goes on my pointer finger. This ring right here is a ring by Emmanuel Bricoli, just a little cross ring. I put that right here and then that's how I wear my three rings whenever I go out. And then we're gonna go to my latest pickup, which is my open face diamond grills that I bought. Top and bottom, eight on eight. Uh, got these from Johnny, you know, I feel like if you're gonna get something that goes in your mouth, especially with diamonds, you should go to someone who does great high quality and that's who I went to. And that's it for all my jewelry. My mentality felt good coming after indoor trims. Like it didn't go the way I wanted it to go, but I learned a lot with my approach and me and my coach have fixed a lot of things. I just really never got my rhythm down. I felt like I was running completely different on every approach down the runway and it just put me in a weird spot. Didn't make it to finals, but Pretty much the main reason we focused on long jump for indoors is because long jump is where I was lacking the most at. I felt like I ended my high jump season pretty well and high jump's a lot easier for me in terms of just my mentality for high jump. It just comes more natural. So we wanted to lock back in on long jump so that way we could do the double at the Olympics this year. All right, so we're gonna do some accelerations today, some sled pulls, and then we'll do some acceleration runs without the sled. So we're just trying to get back to getting some good quality speed power work in after the indoor season. Would like to see that we're kind of getting back to some good acceleration work. We've kind of backed off a of training a little bit to keep them fresh. So we'll, uh, we'll start to put the hammer down a little bit more for a few weeks. I have a bad habit of not being very patient. And I learned that this indoor season, that even though you're used to winning and you're used to being on top, it's not always gonna be that way. You have to take the road you're given. You have to make your way 
to wherever it is you're supposed to go. You know what I mean? I feel like I learned a lot in terms of technical wise and long jump what I need to do. I'm excited for this upcoming outdoor season because I feel like big things are going to happen. I feel like I'm going to PR on both my events and I feel like there's a good chance I could bring home gold medals at the Olympic Championships this year. Today we're at LSU at the Keith Talley Invitational. I'll be long jumping today. I don't normally like putting out numbers and markers for my competition, so we're just going to go out here and do our best to see what happens.